Good morning, peeps. So I just got done walking um, almost two miles. And oh my God, it's such a beautiful day. It's gorgeous outside today. I got to see, uh, actually got harassed by some geese. <laughs> Which I guess is to be expected this time of year. But um, as I was walking, I was thinking and I was thinking about trying, like being, like being this or being that or being this person or being that person or being a better person or trying to be this or helping other people try to be something as if the person that I currently am or the person that you currently are isn't enough. So I'm like, first of all, BS, totally calling BS on that because the person that you are right now is enough. The person that you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. Now I know that some of us, some of you, whoever's listening to this, first of all, if you're watching, say hello. I'd love to see your comments. I'd love to see, say, I see you say hello. Um, but if you are trying to be something else, you're judging, you're judging yourself in this moment. Why can't you just be who you are in this moment? And then back to my previous thought, if you feel as if the moment that you're in isn't good enough, maybe you are in a situation where you're not making enough money or your relationships are not working well, whether it be friends, family, significant other, whatever it is, your relationships with people aren't working as well as you'd like them to, or, um, that you're, you don't have the job that you'd like to have, or you don't have a job at all. But what if, what if being who you are in this exact moment is who you're supposed to be right now? And what if you could totally love and accept yourself in this moment for exactly who you are? With all the garbage, with all of the mistakes, with any failures that you feel like you've made, just let all of that fall away. The past is the past, it can't be changed. So if you're beating yourself up about something that happened five minutes ago, it's over, it's done, do better in this moment. What can you do in this moment to feel, to feel happy, to feel joy, to feel worthy, to feel loved? What can you do in this moment? And in this moment, know that you are loved. You don't need to try to be anything to be loved. You are loved unconditionally, exactly as you are. And where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be because maybe there's a lesson. Maybe there's something that you're supposed to go through. Maybe you're having a breakthrough of some kind. Maybe it's exercising your faith a little more, whatever it is. I, um, I started coaching people a long time ago. Um, and I realized this morning as I was walking as the reason that it's difficult, the reason that I find that I struggle sometimes in helping other people is because I'm trying to do it for them. I'm trying, trying to do it for them instead of opening the space for them to actually do it theirself, to actually work through where they're supposed to be in this exact moment and get to the other side. You don't get to jump to the end of the train tracks. You have to ride it out. You get to ride it out. So you're on a journey, you're on your life's journey and you're cruising down the tracks. And sometimes there are choices to be made. Should I go this way? Should I go that way? 
And it doesn't matter which choice you make. You're still exactly where you're supposed to be because there's something there for you. You're picking up things along the way and you're putting them in your backpack for the future. The moment that you're in right now is meant to be lived. And if you are thinking about what's at the end of the train track or what you just went past on the train track, then you're not living. If you find that you have fear and you're constantly trying to overcome this fear, you're not living in the moment. If you find that you are depressed or angry or sad, you're not living in the moment. You're living in the past. Put your blinders on, get centered, Go for a walk, put your feet in the dirt, put your feet in the sand, put your feet in the grass, feel the wind on your skin and just get centered. Think about where you are and how magical your life is in this exact moment. I'm literally sitting in my Jeep, which is my favorite vehicle I've ever had watching water spray out of some sort of water thing in the middle of this beautiful lake that I just walked around. And I got to see all kinds of people, children, fathers, mothers, all playing with their children, walking around the lake, getting fresh air. And I just was happy to be in that moment. I'm happy to be in this moment. And to stop trying. I'm so relieved that I can stop trying and just be. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be great if you could wash away, just let all of that stuff, just shake it off and just let it fall. All of that, I don't know, that outer shell, that crust, all of the trying, all of the doing, all of the trying to be and you just were you just are what if do you think you could do that can you open up space to just be it takes practice it takes a lot of practice takes a lot of practice but guess what you are exactly where you're supposed to be and if you're practicing being then you're doing what you're here to do whatever that is and if you're in a situation that needs to change the only way for you to change it is to be to be who you are fully and if you don't like who you are in this moment, then you can choose to make some changes right now. But don't judge yourself based on the past and don't judge yourself based on the future. That hasn't even happened yet. Stop trying to be, just be. I know that that revelation um, is my favorite one that I've had so far. Drop the trying and embrace the being in this moment. A goose, a goose hissed at me a while ago. I'm going to be completely, completely transparent here. I'm walking and I, I deliberately dodged a group of geese. Um, and normally there aren't geese here. I don't know why they're here. I guess they're maybe getting ready to go south. Um, but I walked past some geese and I deliberately gave them extra space because I, you know, I know that they will bite you <laughs> if you get too close. So I was giving them space and this one goose hissed at me and I looked at him and I, I said something like, don't hiss at me, you jerk. And then I thought, well, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. And then I thought, what if I don't have to be nice in every single moment of my life? What if? Okay, 
I called a duck or goose. I called him a jerk. He was being a jerk. I wasn't doing anything to bother him. So, Daddy. hi, what can you do in this moment to be? What if you don't have to do anything? What if you can just be? Even if you're hurt, sad, angry, happy, joyful, stressed. If you just took five minutes to be, to breathe, to not think about anything, to just be. Give up trying for five minutes trying to impress others, trying to be what you think others want you to be, trying to be what you think you're supposed to be, trying to be something that's in the future. Just be now. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear if you were successful at just being for five minutes. For me, it's easier if I get outside and go for a walk or do something outside in nature Sometimes I meditate at home. Sometimes I struggle to do that at home. Um, sometimes just getting outside and going for a walk. Sometimes I have the most amazing ideas in the shower. It's just, you have to shut out the noise. Turn off the noise and stop being in the future and stop being in the past and just be in this moment and accept that where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be and who you are is exactly who you're supposed to be. And embrace it. And enjoy the moment. Because life is meant to be lived. It's not meant to be fast forwarded or reversed. You can't keep hitting the fast forward button if you want to have a happy, joyful, meaningful life. You can't keep hitting the re replay button. All of those things are in the past. Take the replay button off of your remote for your life. Take the fast forward button off of the remote for your life and be. Of course you can plan. Of course you can make plans with people to do things. But put it on your calendar. Don't focus on it and dwell on it and think about it all the time. Because that's not going to make you happy. What's going to make you happy is right now in this very moment. So I'm Annette, if you don't know me. I have spent my entire life helping others, loving on others, unconditionally loving every person on this planet. I love, 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 love people. Of course, I'm not perfect. And I just called a goose a jerk. <laughs> so I'm not perfect by any means. But I accept that I am a work in progress and I accept that my train tracks are going forward and I'm not looking back, but I'm going to enjoy every minute of the ride. So drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you um, want to see more of these, make sure you hit the notifications button and turn it on to let me know when Annette goes live and um, yeah stay tuned I love you guys I hope you have a great Sunday